This is the Project Gemini Update, your source for all things Project Gemini. Brought to you by Riffical Records. And here's your host, Mark Anthony K. Greetings and welcome to episode 167 of the Project Gemini update. <clears throat> yes, it's been a long time since my last update. Three weeks from what I see on my <clears throat> YouTube uh, channel here. Again, I apologize. <clears throat> um, it's not because there hasn't been anything going on. There's been a lot going on and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but I figured I would do an update now because I have some good news. Uh, today... I went over to the lacquer channel. As you all know, the lacquer channel is a studio that cuts lacquers for vinyl pressing. And I went over today to pick up this. As you might have seen, I put a little teaser on my Project Gemini page. <clears throat> and here you have the test acetate for In the Year 3073 Book 3. That's side A. And this is the side B. They are obviously two separate uh, pieces of vinyl, well, two separate acetates, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly. I think that's how they do it on here. Oh no, it's, sorry, it's just one, like a regular record. They do that when they do the actual uh, stampers. Here's the, here is the album level. Here's side two of the acetate. It's upside down, and this is side A. The number there is like a V number, which is an identification number that uh, we have between Train Records and uh, Kev Kevin, who does the uh, lacquer cuts. So he knows uh, which record is for, or which acetate is for which uh, company and for what band. Yeah, so <clears throat> it looks good. <clears throat> I'm going to be spinning this bad boy uh, very soon. I haven't given it a spin yet because I literally got it like just a few hours ago. Uh, but I'm looking very forward to listening to this. Usually these have been done like perfectly from the first go. There hasn't been usually very many uh, reasons to do uh, secondary ones. You know what? I'm just going to put this back after giving me a bit of a hard time there. Uh, yeah, so I have the acetate, which is a good news, which means that once I listen to it and if I if I like it and I want to give it a green light, then we move on, which means basically he waits for uh, William at Train Records to let him know how far along the scheduling is or pressing, and then he will make the final version of it, send it over, and they'll start making the metal parts and the stampers will get done and you start making the final record. So we are one step closer, my friends, to getting the vinyl version of this record. <clears throat> now, it's funny, uh, it kind of hit me when I was doing this that uh, I've been keeping, I've kept very good archives of my past releases. I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, you'd be surprised how many musicians don't keep good archives of their things. and years down the road they can't find anything and if they want to redo things it's a big nightmare for them but i'm very happy that i've been keeping good track of that and just to show you what i mean i have a lot of my original acetates here this here is the original acetate for an ordinary day as you can see there uh incredible that i still have it it still sounds absolutely perfect anybody who says and has that argument that you know, acetates are not good and you shouldn't listen to them more than once or whatever. You shouldn't. They're not men meant for regular play, but this sounds just as good as the day I got it. And as long as you keep it in good condition, it'll play for a, a, for a while still. So that's uh, for uh, an ordinary day. This here is the test acetate for a brand new day. It's actually on both sides. It's 
written on here. Uh, this this one is another. This one turned out really excellent as well. Uh, all of these sound fantastic. Like the, the, it's incredible how good they turned out. This here is the acetate. This is a funny one. These are the acetates for Man of Science, Man of Dreams. Now what happened here was at the time Kevin didn't have any 12 inch. I believe they're 14. They're slightly bigger than normal records. Uh, acetates available, so he had to cut them on 10 inch. So here's side A, song one, and on the other side here, on the on another one he has, on, oh, on the other side he has A2, A3, and then there's another 10 inch record here that has the kind of same idea with B1 on this side, and B2 and 3 on this side. So that was the, probably the only time that I, I've had to uh, do test listings, well, listings of test acetates off of 10 inch, which was, you know, it's no it's, there's no real difference as far as sound quality. It's just, he had to spread it amongst more uh, acetates. This here is book one. As you see, it's revision one. We did have to make a revision on book one. I wasn't happy with something in there that was done. So we had to get that fixed. And this was the last one that I had done prior to this one that I just got now. This is the test acetate for book two. As you can see, album five, side A. Album five, side B. So there you go. Now. Down the road, maybe, um, there might come a time where I might decide to maybe sell one. Or maybe I'll make a, a raffle. You know, people, people, you know, put in like five bucks and I'll do a giant raffle and the winner gets to have the acetate. Like I said, they are playable. They sound great, but I'm kind of reluctant to get rid of them. They are a piece of history for me, but you never know. Depends how I am and depends what happens down the line, you know. Because there might be a, maybe I might do a reissue or a repressing of one of the records and I'll have to get a test acetates done again. So maybe I'll give up the original ones and keep the new ones. Who knows? In any case, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it or if we get to it. <clears throat> now, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is, as you know, I run a label called Rifical Records. <clears throat> right now, uh, I'm pushing, well, not pushing, but I'm uh, promoting a new record for Joe Bailey, which is right here. Uh, Devil in the White City. It's a fantastic record. Uh, it's been getting some really, really good uh, comments and reviews. Uh, it also had a comment in the most recent Prague magazine, I believe, too. I, I saw it in there recently. Uh, so that's great. And um, <clears throat> there's a CD pre-order going on right now. It doesn't appear as a pre-order. It's just like an ordering for the CD. Uh, I am asking to, if you would want to take a take a peek at this album. If you haven't ordered a CD copy, maybe you might want to consider doing so. Uh, Rifical Records is a sort of label where one hand scratches the other or one hand washes the other. Uh, you know, Project Gemini has been a pretty successful uh, project for me as far as, you know, I've had good results as far as my pre-orders and stuff like that. And sometimes I've had a lot of digital orders come in too. And when those digital orders come in, they help fund other projects that maybe not aren't that, that aren't struggling, but maybe need a little bit of help. Like Joe's relatively new to the whole CD thing. So sometimes I pop in a little extra from my kitty to help with his stuff. So uh, with that said, if you want to take a look and maybe order a CD, it'll help the grand scheme of things as far as Rifical Records goes. Uh, no pressure. I hate asking those kind of things. I feel like I'm a you know hobo with a hat in hand doing that, but <clears throat> it is business, so I would be stupid not to ask. So again, Devil in the White City, fantastic album, concept album. The CD is being done right now. In fact, I think it might actually be uh, finished. I'm talking about the, the, the pressing of it. Train Records is doing it right now. It should be done very soon, so if you want to put in your order for one, that would be great. Uh, and we will get it to you as soon as possible. Speaking of orders, if you are still waiting for something, 
uh, from me as far as, pro as far as Project Gemini goes. Uh, last check, there are only maybe a handful of things left to send out. If you haven't gotten your things yet, please be patient. Uh, I am one man having to do several things, but I'm down to the last couple things. So everybody who's ordered, except for this latest record, uh, vinyl wise, should have stuff in the mail ready for you to get there. And that was my dog who just made a loud sound there. Anyways, um, next up, um, I put up a little, uh, like a, like a little, little uh, posting on their Fickle Records page uh, about upcoming releases. Now, I had mentioned Joe's record, and right now we are working on the Dark Monarchy album. We are done all the music for it, pretty much, except for guitar solos and stuff like that, and the vocals. Right now, Joe and I are working on the lyrics and the vocals. So a new Dark Monarchy record will be coming down the line very soon. But one thing that will be coming down the line sooner than that and something I haven't been talking about at all because I wanted to keep it kind of hush-hush because I was working on it in the, my lowest point of this year. As you guys well know, I had a bit of, uh, you know, issues with something regarding my house. Thankfully, all that is done. And I thank you all for your support and uh, kind words during that time. <clears throat> but during that time, I had I had written some more music for Mark Anthony K and the Lower Third Collective. And I decided to take these songs and combine them with some songs that I've written <clears throat> that I've written earlier and combine it into an eight song album that's going to be coming out very soon. It's going to be on digital only for now. Uh, if it goes well and if there's a good reaction to it, then I might consider doing a CD. If it's really good, then I might even do a vinyl. Who knows? <clears throat> but uh, the record is going to be called, I think tentatively right now, I have it called, uh, what, what, did I, what did I even call it? Uh, Les Paul's. Oh yeah, Les Paul's Tequila and Cocaine. Yeah, interesting title. Uh, it all makes sense in the grand scheme of things, <clears throat> uh, but it's a very straight up sort of rock record, hard rock. Uh, I'm really happy with it, to be honest with you. <clears throat> um, I'm more known, <clears throat> I'm more known, excuse me, for my progressive side of things, uh, but I really do love rock, hard rock music. It's one of the things I grew up with, to be honest before I even got into prog music and uh you know I like having this outlet for that music so I will put up a posting soon about where you can find this release and your support will be greatly greatly appreciated now beyond that <clears throat> excuse me beyond that um <clears throat> there will be another project Gemini album this year I hope I'm hoping to get that started after the release of the Dark Monarchy record that comes out uh, again, I'm not going to rush it. Uh, I have a couple of ideas for what I want to do with that. Uh, but yeah, keep in mind that there will be maybe another Project Gemini album this year as well. This is just kind of keeping you guys up to date on what's going on in the background. So the next time I put up a video and you're like, <clears throat> Jesus, it's taking this guy two weeks for another video, you'll know that there's a lot going on. And that's why sometimes I can't get back to my video making as quickly as I would like to. Uh, that said as well, um, I should be picking up in the next week or so the the download cards for in the year 3073 book three. They, they, they should turn out really nice. I got the same printers to do it as did the uh, the Moog keyboard one for book two. <clears throat> and uh, the hype stick, the hype stickers are also being done now and they should be done at the same time since the same company is doing them as well. Um, I believe that's it. The main thing I wanted to let you guys know, of course, was that the acetate is in my possession. I'll be listening to it today and I will probably have the results for them, you know, in the next day or two. And wheels are rolling, my friends. Wheels are moving forward and this record will be done sooner than later. And again, uh, if you wouldn't mind checking out Joe Bailey's record and maybe, uh, you know, grabbing a CD copy, that would be very much appreciated. And again, thank you for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, things were a little quiet at the beginning of the year, but things will be picking up now quite a bit and there'll be a lot more news coming down the line. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Summer's around the corner. Let's have a great summer. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy some good music coming down the pipe as well. Have a good day, my friends. Bye-bye.